Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Taoist Viking Travel Vlog. Today, I woke up late, but I woke up nonetheless in the mood for some shawarma today. So we're in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and plenty of places to find good shawarma here. So I've been walking around, hopped on Google, found a spot with some good reviews. We're gonna check it out. The restaurant is called Halab Gate Shawarma, and we're a few minutes away now. I did want to film this cool street here because I think I found a spot that I'm going to come back to and film another video probably in the evening. This seems like a pretty happening place at nighttime. A lot of cool restaurants here. But yeah, I figured it was a good spot to film the intro. I am just a few minutes away. I'm going to be turning off this street in just a few. So, see you in a second, guys. Hey guys, here we are. Cool little Middle Eastern corner here. And there it is, Halab Gate Shawarma. I'm very excited about this. As you know, if you're a reoccurring watcher, Middle Eastern food is my favorite food. Every country I go to, I get some shawarma, falafel, or something like that, uh, whenever I can, in every country. So, this will be very fun. Let's check it out. Right, guys, so I just ordered here. I did the mixture of chicken and beef wrap. Super excited, I have goosebumps, I'm so excited. And uh, look at that, there's the big chicken, and there's the beef back there. Oh, it's gonna be so good. So, so good. And then I got a side of falafel as well. So I'll try to sit on one of these benches and eat, and then I'll probably walk around as well. We'll see what works best, you know? Everyone, look at this beautiful work of art right here. This is our combo wrap. Got a nice seat here, a little city area. So I will say, gotta take some home later. Um, I think he misunderstood me. I just wanted a side of falafel, and he gave me another, like a falafel wrap. Um, but that's okay. I, uh, I'm not gonna complain. It's not gonna go to waste. But this is all I can eat right now. And then I did stop at uh, Papa Kanafa, which is that little dessert shop there. Um, I wanted to sit at one of their tables and I felt bad not buying anything. It was pretty cheap. It was 10 ringgit for a few desserts. So we get that treat at the end as well. For those of you who are wondering, um, I always joked to my people I know, I'm gonna lose weight on this trip and stuff like that. Yeah, maybe I've lost a couple pounds, but so hard to. The food's so good and it's cheap and so it's hard not to um you know keep those pounds on so anyway side note let's just check this out we got our garlic dip here that's mandatory oh that's beautiful all right guys here we go moment of truth first reaction mm. 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 they should have sent a poet this is so this is so good the beef has, is so flavorful um chicken's good um, tastes like there's a little bit of like salada in there um, oh this is so good the herbs the vegetables the pickled onions get that garlic dip on here mmm this is so good there's one bite and I'm in heaven going for another Speechless. This might actually be one of the best um, shawarma wraps I've ever had. And it's cool the way they toasted it. It's like a burrito almost. Even the texture of it is more burrito-like than you would normally get with a lot of shawarma wraps. However they did it, however they make their wrap texture. Oh, wow. This is so good. <laughs> this is so good. Oh. Mm. This is heaven. A little more of that. Garlic dip, look at that. Big old bite of garlic. Mmm. Mm. I'm like not sober right now. This is so good. Total food buzz. So there's like pickled onions in here and I think regular onions. Um, you got your various herbs and veggies in here, like a tahini sauce. And then I did it with cheese as well, uh, which I think also contributes to it reminding me of a burrito. And again, normally when I've gotten shawarma wraps with cheese, they don't totally remind you of a burrito like this, but this one, it's kind of that sweet spot. I did the combo, so I got chicken and cheese. Um, <laughs> definitely worth it. This is the large size. Um, with the falafel I got, because I ordered a small, just thinking, yeah, I want a small side of falafel. Um, 
that's a small wrap right there. So it is, it's probably about this big, minus the bites I've already taken. Um, which that'll be nice. I'll be dinner later while I'm editing these videos. Um, oh my God, guys, this is so good. This alone is why you need to come to KL. It's the food here. The food is phenomenal. Whether you get Chinese food, you know, um, Malay food, or like Middle Eastern food like this. I mean, it's all so good. It's just everywhere I eat here is amazing. Um, I need to shut up and take another bite, sorry. Mm. I wish you could taste what I'm tasting right now. It's so good. Alright guys, so I just finished that up. I'm so full right now. I'm roasting in the sun, it's right behind me, so I'm sweating to death. But that's part of the experience, you know, you eat by some busy traffic in a loud city, at a table, get roasted in the sun. But that's part of the experience, you know, you eat by some loud traffic, you get roasted in the sun. That's how you do it, you know, you, when you're in another country, you get that street food experience. Um, now it is time for dessert. I'm way too full for it, but here we go. So, I'm not exactly sure what all these are called. I mean, they're all kind of similar to baklava. This first little guy, kind of flaky like you'd have with baklava. And it's chocolate filling with like some pistachio crumble. So let's go with this one first. Mm. So good. It was kind of like, you know, that uh, shredded mini wheat cereal, except it doesn't suck. That's like the worst cereal in the world. And it had like a uh, Nutella style filling with the crumble pistachio crumble. Wow, that's good. And it's so hot that Nutella got extra melty. So, so rich tasting. Great way to start. Then we'll do this little guy next. So it's kind of flaky as well. And it's got like pistachio filling, the lady was saying. Let's try this. That was pretty good. Um, I would rate that second favorite. The first one I had so far was my favorite. And then we have, this one is similar to that first chocolate one, um, but it has like, um, it's like a vanilla with um, pistachio. So let's go ahead and try this. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. I think so far the chocolate was my favorite. I'm not really a chocolate guy. These are all delicious. It all pairs so well with the meal I just ate. Like chemically, scientifically, it just works, you know? And lastly, we have this little bar. And the lady said this was her favorite there. So it's stuffed with pistachio as well. Let's try it out. Mmm. This one's real chewy and gooey, but real rich. That's real good. Mm, I think if I had to rank them, chocolate, the first one, the one I just had now, the little bar, the pink one, and then the vanilla one. They were all tasty, so it's hard to rank, but that'd be my favorite. All really good. So it's 10 ringgit for the four of those. Um, and yeah, it's a perfect little dessert to kind of complement the meal I just ate. I'm absolutely stuffed. Thankfully, I have like a 35, 40 minute walk back to my room and I get some exercise and um, edit some videos, digest my food. But then I gotta go back out tonight. I'm gonna walk some more. So I got some calories to burn, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, today was an awesome day of food. Hope you guys enjoyed that. You know, hopefully this kind of um, got you excited to come to Kuala Lumpur and experience that, um, the diversity in the food here. I have other food videos from here, whether it be Nasi Lamak, or you know some Chinese style noodles. Check them out on the channel because I think between watching those, if you're a foodie, you're gonna realize this is a city you have to come come to for food. Um, my brain right now is like barely functioning between the heat, the food coma, the pure bliss of just how much tasty food I had. So I should probably just shut up before I quit rambling and end the video. So guys, if you had fun, um, thanks for tuning in. 
I had fun making this video, obviously. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this. Hopefully this gave you an appetite. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, leave a like. It helps a small channel like mine grow. And we have tons of cool adventures coming up. So have a good one, guys. See ya.